Hey Phil, have you ever been teased for having unpopular hobbies or interests? As a fan of anime, Hawaiian pizza, and rap music, I grew up with thick skin since I was constantly surrounded by people who either didn't understand what I was into or outright mocked me for it. As a fan of pro wrestling, I imagine you might have had to deal with similar issues. Like pretentious dicks that love to shout that wrestling is scripted like it's some huge revelation. People forget that even video games themselves were seen as an uncool nerd hobby for kids up until geek culture got popular with stuff like the Big Bang Theory, but I digress. Have you ever dealt with this yourself, or do you have any advice for people going through similar struggles? I think right now there are people that are big fans of your content, but afraid to show it because of the negative reputation you have online, any advice would be helpful. The Big Bang Theory is one of the worst fucking shows I've ever seen in my life, and I'm so L Look at me! Here's what you really need to do. Look at me, alright? And look at the Big Bang Theory. Now, I'm one of the biggest fans of video games on the planet. Does that show represent me accurately? Fuck no. That show is an insult. It's an insult to people who actually like that geeky or gaming culture. We're not all like, we're not all awkward, socially awkward people who can't socialize and we can't have girlfriends and we're nerdy. We're not all like that. Just because we like something that's not necessarily mainstream doesn't make us outcasts or freaks or social rejects like a lot of this mainstream shit likes to portray people. And that pisses me the fuck off. That's the stereotype. The Big Bang Theory is the fucking stereotype that needs to fucking end and shove it up its own ass. Because that has hurt more than held, in my opinion. That shit didn't bring stuff to the mainstream. It was when people realized there was money in the gaming market that all of a sudden it became mainstream. Oh shit, well we've been making fun of this for years, but we put a ton of money in developing games and now the games are making millions and millions of dollars worldwide. I guess it's not a joke anymore, right? And that's it. People like you and me, who don't necessarily have these kind of social ineptitudes, can still like this shit, you know? And not have to be made fun of or ridiculed by fucking people. It's a bad stereotype that, oh, because you like something that's a fringe thing, you're an outcast or you're a freak or something. The social cast of the mainstream, and basically, I'm in the, the, the underdog, the guy who's the guy who shouldn't be liked because he's not in the in-group, right? Same shit in high school. I wasn't in the in-crowd in fucking high school. I did my own thing. I went my own way. I had my own morals and standards and stuff that I lived up to, and I was a lot different from all the kids in high school, and I wasn't in the in-crowd, and a lot of people made fun of me for it. Fuck those fucking people. Those fucking elitist douchebag pieces of shit who just, the only way they can get a, a rise out of life is to bully others. So because you don't like, you like something that I don't understand, or you like something that I don't like, I'm gonna bully you. And that's all it is. Fuck those losers. Those people are insecure. Those people are fucking lesser than you.